Happy Halloween, everyone, and I have a special movie review for us today, one that I've been waiting to do for years. Let me ask you, do you like reality TV? Looking for some, Hold I've on. listened to you no, 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 this no. entire no, time. No, no, stop. Do not stop me. Don't, I've listened to you this entire me. time. Like, seriously, I asked you. I've listened to you I for the last you, 20 I'm, minutes. And I'm not done yet. I asked you, You know please. what? You are done. No, no, not that kind. You know what? You are done. Do you like horror movies? What's your favorite scary movie? Do you like horror movie reality TV shows? On screen queens, eight actresses continue to battle for a breakout role in Saw 6. Oh my god! Jessica's unpredictable behavior. I'm psycho! Resurfaced during a frightening stunt <laughs> that left her in tears. <laughs> Just kill me! I didn't think so. Now, for the most part, we all know that reality TV nowadays is trash. And, real and horror movie reality TV shows have kind of always been trash. But what if you took the premise of a horror reality TV show and made it real? Imagine Jason being really chasing after you, Freddy Krueger coming after you in your dreams, Michael Myers stalking you through an arena. In 2001, that kind of movie became a reality. Today, I bring you the review on Slashers. The premise of this movie, six contestants, all with their varying reasons of why they're here, go to this Japanese game show where there are no rules. It's either kill or be killed in this reality TV show. Six lucky Americans, just like you, will now have a chance of becoming extremely wealthy. Let me refresh any new viewers on our rules. <gasps> there are none! Contestants who will be meeting for the first time are free to help each other out and share the winnings. Or it's every man and woman to themselves, and whoever is left standing at the end of the show is a winner! And what makes this movie so charming is not really the contestants. You really don't care for any of them in particular. What does draw you in? is the characters within the slashers. You want to know more about the backstories behind all these psychotic killers that were hired on by this TV show to do what they do best. That's dismember, main, and kill people. Born in a barn, raised in a slaughterhouse. The Baron of Butcherdom, the General of Gore. The Champion of Chopping, back for his 10th appearance. Let's welcome our favorite good old inbred redneck, Chainsaw Charlie! Where did they find these people? As I watched this movie throughout the years, it made me more interested in knowing what the backstories were to all these different serial murderers and people that they have running this show. The way the show is presented is actually pretty horrific. Imagine a reality TV show based on murdering people for fun, all because of commercialism and wanting to place bets on people's lives. Why didn't he kill me? Don't you watch the fucking show? This is the number one gambling event in the world. What are my chances? 
about five to one. No. A whole lot better. The movie oozes charm when you see how it's presented in the way that the beginning of the show starts. It reminds you very much of how the early seasons of Big Brother were. It's got a charming host, really dumb contestants. You've got your typical tropes thrown in for the contestants. The real buff, muscular black guy who's a marine and boxer. You've got the nerd. You've got the, the politically correct woman who wants to give her message out about how murder on TV's wrong. You got the dumb bimbo lady. You got the badass chick. And you've got your stereotypical, just kind of fat, tough guy. There is an extra bonus of two million dollars. Bring him on, mask-wearing pussies. Voting our slashers is very risky. They take everything personally and like to give it that something extra. Now, I will go and say, this is a low-budget indie film. You can tell right away. But the funny thing is, the way that it's filmed and the way that it looks, it's actually pretty believable for a reality TV show of the early 2000s. If you look at the 1980s show MXC Takashi, Most Extreme Challenge, that was brought to America in the early 2000s, it looks identical in the way that it's filmed. <laughs> What are these people running from? They're not. They're running to the world's toughest game show in town. Today's competition will pit America's stoic butcher industry workers against wacky cartoon voiceover artists. Get fired up for Most Extreme Elimination Challenge! Now, I'm not going to say the acting's the best, but when it comes to these indie B-horror movies, I mean, you could get a lot worse. Now, what I found really interesting about this movie, more interesting than anything else, sure, the kills are amazing, the acting is terrible, but the hidden message behind the movie, where there is one certain scene where Chainsaw Charlie, my favorite killer of the entire movie, by the way, has a point of clarity where he realizes he doesn't want to die because one of the contestants is going to kill him. And just like the contestants, the killers are strapped with an electronic prod around their neck, very much like the uh, slave collars that you would see in the Fallout games. But once he realizes that he's about to die, he is going to leave his post and just give up on the show. And just like the contest contestants, he's trapped there as well, forced to kill if he doesn't want to be killed. You're bluffing. Yes, you are. Oh, what happened to your redneck accent, Charlie? Look at me. You know I'm not lying. What do you say, Chainsaw Boy? You either get the hell away from here or we tangle. Do you understand? I'm ready for you. Oh, like hell, I'll remain in position. Now, while I'm not saying you should feel bad for the killers in any way, because they've killed plenty of people and they look like they're enjoying doing it. It's a very interesting look on no matter who the person is, except for the hosts, get it? everyone's kind of trapped in this really fucked up scenario. Now, you have to admire, you can tell that this entire movie was basically filmed in a giant paintball arena, which was really cool to see. I really like the openness of them getting to run around this whole place, avoiding killers and coming up with strategy to avoid the killers or kill them. It was just really interesting to see. What I would have liked is more slashers. More of them, not just three. The three we got were pretty cool. I like Chainsaw Charlie the most. The Preacher Man was really, really cool, but he dies almost immediately. The Doctor character is here or there, but I want to see more of the other slashers that they showed the intro of the show. I want to see the pirate guy, and I want to see the killer clown guy. I want to know the backstories between all these different slasher characters and where they come from. And the killers all seem to be, except for the Doctor, like hillbillies. <laughs> like the hillbillies that you'd get from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Also, the Preacher Man it has this real children of corn feeling to it. What I would have really liked to see is this movie getting a video game port on the PlayStation 2. Now, the closest thing we get is the video game Manhunt, which is kind of very similar in premise. 
you know, one guy against a group of killers in an enclosed area and it's killer be killed. But I could totally see this movie becoming a video game. All different arenas, different killers you have to avoid with different weapons, and all being all score based. I would love to see that. The kill scenes in this movie are pretty gruesome for the most part. You get to see a lot of blood in this movie and it's pretty enjoyable. It's not too stupid, it's not too cheesy. There are two kills that kind of repeat themselves in a certain way, but I'm not gonna spoil it for you. On a scale of one to 10, I would give this movie an eight. It's a very good B indie horror film. I got to admit from the early 2000s, that's very obscure. I don't know anyone that's ever heard of this movie except for one person. I don't know anyone that's ever seen this movie, heard of this movie, knows about this movie. Now, you can get this movie for fairly cheap. I think it's also free on YouTube, I'm not really sure. I own it on VHS and on DVD, so I like it that much where you gotta own them on both. But I would suggest seeing this movie at least once, especially if you love B-horror movies with bad acting, some pretty cool kills, and interesting killers, to say the least. Not your stereotypical tropes of Jason and, and Freddy Krueger. Even though I like them both, I think the slashers are the selling point of this movie. They all have their own characteristics and their own personalities that makes you want to know more about them. And if you do get the DVD version, you kind of get a little bit of extra deleted scenes and inside look at one of the slashers. I would have liked to know more about this universe. I would have liked to know more about how the show was put together and how many episodes there has been and where are they getting all these different killers from? Like, how are they going out and recruiting these people? How are they finding out that these people want to murder people and have their own little costume and get-ups that look like fucking something that you'd see from a Scooby-Doo episode? I think that's what makes it probably the most demented is that the slashers all look like Scooby-Doo Scooby villains. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good Halloween. Stay safe. Wear your mask or your masks, and I'll see you on the next movie review. Have a good Halloween.